before we begin. Your rising sign horoscope will give you further clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope will show up for you, and your moon sign horoscope will present the less prominent side story that will also be occurring, usually closer to home. You can find any video you are looking for by checking out the playlist menu on my main channel page. Horoscopes serve best when viewed like a weather or traffic report. You have influence over the outcome of any occurrence with your thoughts, emotions, choices, and deeds. Use the information that presents to help you make the highest choices for the highest outcomes. And if you would like to schedule any of my services or leave a tip or donation, you can do so at my website, integrativemysticism.com, or follow the links in the down bar below. All right, Cancer, it's time to have a look and see what the most prominent themes and energies are this week as they influence all areas of your life in one fashion or another. You probably hear the heater, it's getting really cold. Pacific Northwest got a cold snap <laughs> just as we got to the last week of October. Autumn and winter came right at the same time. So we're dealing. So let's have a look and see what's going on here with your cards. Remember we're working with the Syrian Star Seed Tarot deck. And so your cards are the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Chalices. We've also got the King of Cups, the King of Chalices the sun or the solar deity and the hierophant or guidance in this deck and it looks like news of a distanced connection is going to come that actually shows you or brings you to some kind of awareness that a gap or space with that connection is shrinking now i'm, I'm feeling like this is for the most part um a, a, a personal connection, almost like a, you know, friendship, family relationship. Uh, but this could also be something coming closer to you that you thought you would have to deal with maybe being farther away, somehow adjust to uh, maybe working your life around it being farther away. And all of a sudden, this is now moving on into your life, traveling on into your space, getting ready to head in your direction. For some of you, this may, you know, begin and commence and, and complete this week, but for some of you, it may just be the news or it may just be the beginning of that transition where the completion actually occurs uh, probably, you know, again, before we get too far into November. We also have the, this um, awesome opportunity, which is actually really, really sweet, a relationship that has maybe struggled to find the right way, the right time or space for a true and heart-centered connection, a, a way to relate to one another is actually being brought <laughs> to that space, actually getting its chance to really sit and jive in that flow together. You know, a confusion or um, maybe a misdirection of these affections are actually getting healed. Now, this is, again, something that is going on across the board. And I'm feeling like this is an ongoing struggle uh, that is coming to an end, you know, or it's already coming to an end. Now, this does feel like, yes, of course, it could go in the direction of maybe a continuous or ongoing struggle when it comes to a certain romantic way of relating to a partner or a spouse. Uh, but I also feel like this can also redefine a lot of relationships when it comes to uh, family, when it comes to friends. It's, it, and it really does feel very strongly like this. Um, we, we obviously care about each other. We obviously have this, this pull uh, this desire to be close, and yet at the same time, um, <laughs> you know, words, thoughts, actions, all of that all seem to be kind of not hitting the mark. Um, maybe love languages are getting kind of confused, or uh, we've just, it's it's been too hard to be close. Now this confusion and misdirection is actually getting healed. Uh, and again, platonic and, and romantic across the board, you're going to be seeing a lot of different relationships really kind of stepping into their own and, and showing exactly what uh, they are actually capable of being at their highest, which is really, really cool. There's also a restoration of a lost or uh, maybe even removed element 
of your life that is actually coming back to you. Now, this would be a restoration or a re-energizing or a healing of something that could have been gone for a very long time. And this, um, this does kind of fall into the theme of the incoming wave that we talked about live on Tuesday. The, the, the short form stuff uh, is going to come out this weekend. So, you know, if you, if you haven't seen your incoming wave yet, don't worry, it's coming. Um, where a lot of things are getting restored from even childhood. But I, I feel like with, with what I'm getting here is that this, this, is, this is definitely looking years back, but it might not always um, go like back to when you're widow, widow, widow. But we have this, uh, whatever is getting restored, whatever element is coming back into your life has also evolved to be a lot more substantial. And uh, this is gonna actually turn on a lot of new lights, turn on a lot of new opportunities for you because it's while it's more substantial, it's also more applicable. Uh, and, and you're gonna find ways to actually utilize it and make it work with you and you work with it, you know, actually help it to serve um, this week. And so very, very powerful uh, turn-ons going on for you. We're also seeing that you're given a chance to actually take on a lot of higher positions, a lot of higher roles, maybe propositions coming your way or calls to action coming your way that are higher than you thought available to you or to maybe somebody with your level of experience or you thought maybe with somebody of your level of training. Uh, this does feel like something that you are going to need to adjust to. Uh, it's gonna require you to completely adjust your, you know, let's just say your goings on in order to acclimate, but there is actually a, a shortcut and a fast run that does not make for a long delay when it comes to either a promotion or again, a transition into a more substantial position that is already gonna to start to, again, profit you much. So that is what I've got for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com.